Oh, I should not have had those gin and tonics yesterday. <laughs> And good morning from very sunny Amsterdam. Uh, today is going to be a little bit different. I'm going to try something new. So I don't have a bike to review at the moment. Uh, instead, this is going to be more of a vloggy kind of video, uh, which is new for me. So do let me know what you think about it. It is going to be bike focused. Um, I'm going to do the first uh, trip on my Aprilia, uh, the maiden voyage. Um, so if you don't know, um, there should be a video about, about this already. Uh, if not, there will be soon. Um, but essentially, I bought an Aprilia last year at RSV Mille R. I stripped it, turned it into a Tuono. Um, took a long time to get everything together, um, but that's done. So it's going to be a maiden voyage for that. Um, otherwise, I'm going to visit some friends uh, at the track. They're doing a track day. And then a friend of mine is testing an MT-10. So we're going to get take both the bikes, the Aprilia and the R6. We're going to go down to the other side of the country and uh, give it a test ride. So yeah, I'm late, hence the uh, rather hurried video. But um, let me know what you think of this. Um, yeah, here goes. Come along for the ride. So I stayed at a friend's place last night. So the first step is get on the Vespa, go back to my garage, get the bikes, and then we are going to be going to the track day. So in case you're wondering what I am doing without a helmet, here in the Netherlands, depending on what type you get, Vespas and other mopeds don't actually require a helmet. So you get to ride them on the cycle paths. Um, it's just a really easy, fun form of transport. If you want to see more about that, uh, if you want to see me do a video on the Vespa, definitely let me know in the comments. Uh, I think it could be quite interesting if you're not from around here. It's a very different form of transport that most people, um, probably from the States, would not be used to seeing. So yeah, let me know what you think. This is so much faster, it's really annoying. Oh, there they are. Nice. This is a question of champagne problems, but having three vehicles with three different sets of keys is annoying. Oh my god. <laughs> in city in Africa with the technology is far more advanced. <laughs> Fuck it. We would have thought you'd love that. I know how much you love Marvel movies. Yeah, I was like getting a fucking break. <laughs> Why are you thinking it off? Uh, I didn't have the uh, oh, yeah, things yeah, to yeah. cut the zip ties and they look terrible. Oh. And you know I'm all about the looks, so... Huh? I'm all about looks and no substance, so... <laughs> yeah, it's like my face, really. So yeah, the clutch is terrible. I can't even go beyond just feathering it and it starts to slip. Shit. It gets worse as, uh, as the engine gets warmer. So what we'll have to do is take it back to the garage, put it there, uh -huh. and uh, mince it up on the R6. All right. Cool. Okay. It's like an orchestra. Yep. Primarily a Kapovich. I 
Gans was like, oh, you're going to ride Fletcher. And he was like, no, we have two bikes. Oh, you have two bikes. Good, because you nope. look so stupid. Not anymore. <laughs> change of plans, after having spent four months at my mechanic for clutch problems, um, I now have a slipping clutch. Uh, on top of that, it runs very well, and I have the suspicion that it is going to need new headstock bearings soon. So 30, 40 kilometers, and we have three new problems. Um, to say that I am not very pleased um, is an understatement. But I will now be sitting bitch on that, um, in all fairness, due to... <laughs> Due to uh, very wise decisions and uh, events yesterday, I am not the sharpest knife in the drawer today, so I'm not too bothered about sitting on the back. Then we'll switch on the back. Um, but yeah, sadly, the Aprilia is not coming with us. It needs some more TLC. Um, and some yet love. again, the, uh, the Japanese bike prevails. Mm, yeah. All right, let's get this done. Twenty minutes later. That is unpleasant. Um, apart from the fact that you're not driving, which I can get used to, you're sitting on something the size of a pack of cigarettes. And my knees are just completely, my knees are shot, my, my legs are cramped up. Yeah, my, my wrists are killing me now. Yeah, it's, uh, <laughs> whichever poor girl decides to go out with me, um, I will not be taking her on the back yeah, because it is. Yeah, yeah. Um, otherwise, it's kind of nice not having to drive, but still seeing stuff. But yeah, that is that is a torture, mate. It's uh, how, how far do we have to go? You think Are we halfway? Uh, Thirty. Think in another hour. Fun. Hey. Thank you, Aprilia. About my um license plate. Yeah. It's bad. Remember we bottomed out. Oh no. Wow, I really fucking bottomed out, man. Yep. Yeah. All right, so we broke the Aprilia, yeah. broke this. Yeah, keep going. Can't believe that. That is so unlikely, man. Yeah, it properly bottomed out as well. Yeah. It was quite a quite a kick. Oh. Yeah. Okay, man, I don't think I was going that quick. We weren't, but the bump it's was your nice. Fat ass, man. <laughs> you fat ass, hello, man. <laughs> So first impressions before you wrote it? Just visually stunning. All right, it's, nice. it's, it's not the prettiest bike in, uh, on the market, but uh, but it doesn't try to be. It's more like a transform. Yeah, but I actually like the way it looks. Some people don't like it, but uh, I personally, uh, I can uh, definitely live with it. Prettier than the Tuono, <laughs> and it's prettier than the Super Duke. I think that's uh, definitely prettier than the GT. <laughs> Yeah, that's not saying much though. Right? Oh. <laughs> Dude, I, I had to, I could not keep up with you. 
And that's the first time you're riding that as well. Good idea, this motorcycle. It's like an extension. Good. Instant connection. Done deal. Instant connection, man. I, I actually love the way it rides. It's not too hard. It's kind of flush. Mm -hmm. You just have to hang on the on the car. It's a beast, isn't it? This is seriously the first bike that delivers that awesome. Like this thing just goes and goes and, and goes. It doesn't and stop. But if it does, you shift and it's the same acceleration once you shift. Just, it feels like this is an engine that has wheels attached to it, man. That's basically what it feels like. I know exactly what you mean. And when you get the other one with your back, it can sound even better too. No, I'll, I'll ride it when you get it. Good. Nice. Yeah? For the 15 minute ride, it, it's definitely positive. How do you feel this compares to the XR? It's a different ride. It's, it's a different it's, piece, it's, isn't it? The power it? comes on differently. The XR is more smooth and it's sort of progressive. This is just, just instant. Just on the fucking... It feels more torque to me. Oh yeah, for sure. Down below, yeah. Look at that small drum. It doesn't rev quite as long, I think, as the uh, the XR does. It, it, it's funny because it, it is a bit like a huge twin experience on, in an inline four bike. In terms of power delivery, yeah. yeah. In terms of torque being there, whenever you you don't get the vibrations and all that, but it's man. you don't get that you don't get that instant. sound. You don't have that. Zzzz. So if you forget, you think you're driving a V twin. That's just it, it, the closest I can compare it to. Funny enough, is the Super Duke. That's a very refined beacon. Makes sense. Just in terms of how it feels sitting on it with the sound and the, and the, the throttle. I like that, that grey decennium more, but the matte black doesn't look bad either. Yeah, it's cool, man. Nice. It's a good day. Yeah? Yep. Is Arthur gonna buy a bike? I'm gonna buy a bike. <laughs> Congrats, man. Hopefully, this one will be stolen. Yeah, let's hope not. Let's hope not. Yeah, there's been a few too many of those. Otherwise, I'll start to think I'm cursed. Yeah, we are or cursed anyway. Or just live in a shitty neighborhood. One of the two. <laughs> Do you go for the uh, decennium? I'm gonna go for the decennium. Nice. Number two of ten. I'm gonna be so special. Well, you do like number twos. Can't deny that. <laughs>
been a good day. It's been a good day so far. I'm finally starting to pull myself together. It's not, not even that. Uh, but it's just an empty tent. Mm-hmm. I knew you weren't going to think about it. Well, I'm going to think sleep on it and maybe buy it one day. There you go. Did you see me sleep in there for three seconds? Surprisingly empty. Uh, I, I could swear I read somewhere uh, that it has a blipper and a quick shifter up and down. I can't remember if the SP version does. It doesn't bother me that much, but... The, the exhaust... It gives a nice note when you uh, when you have the blipper. The blipper on the SL. Yeah, the, the, the XR, XR with the open exhaust. Jesus, oh my god, so that was so nice. Like I'd used blippers before, but mm-hmm. they were all kind of clunky. Mm-hmm. And it wasn't until I drove the XR that I was like, okay, this is mm-hmm. this is next level. It's sort of a um, the F type on two wheels, you know, kind of a experience. Mm, F type right. has that uh, as well. Yeah, yeah Pete's car sounds sick. Yeah. You'll probably be watching this actually at some point. Yeah. I'm gonna spam it too. No. Hi Pete. This is my this is my gorgeous face. What, what face? Huh? Oh, your gorgeous face. No, well, okay, it took me a while to process right, that. Mine. <laughs> well, now I'm good looking to the point that I don't have to talk about it. Mm-hmm. I'm just happy they gave you an extra helmet for free. There you go. Cover my face. Cover it up. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Yeah, the helmet looks sick as well. Yeah, it does. Looks like Black Panther. Mm-hmm. You love that film? Oh my god, don't talk to me about it. It's really a waste of fucking time. A hidden city in Africa. How does that work? Well, it's three times more technologically advanced than the rest of the world. And nobody knows about it. I thought they were on a different planet. I haven't seen the film. Ah, I love it. I actually drove the Gold Really? Yeah. Such a weird experience. They just made a new one. <laughs> Fully specs, 42 grand. I think I drove the 2016 version or 17, whatever. Um, interesting. Just Is it still a motorcycle though? Yeah. Mm. Well, it's got two wheels. So does that C1 that BMW made, but I don't really feel that class as a motorcycle. C1. You know they made that scooter with the uh, with the roof over it and the oh, airbag. Oh, we don't want to stand there. Yeah, you know, you've got an airbag and a seatbelt uh, and stupid stuff like that. It is still in the last roll. I don't know. It's, uh, fuck it, whatever. Ask Ethan must be such a pretty sight. Let's see how many thumbs up and thumbs down we get. It's gonna be fun, man. Yeah. Some dogs in there. Man. Can't be a motorcycle journalist every week. No. There's not enough bikes. And not enough time. Yeah, too. Sorry. Well, I'm not sorry. You got to see Danny's pretty face. Beautiful. From up close. Sitting a bit in the shadow, though, bro. Can't really see. Oh, really? Yeah. Mm. Some viewers could have been disappointed. <laughs> all those, all those chicks that sign up to your channel, dude. I checked the, um, <laughs> I checked the analytics the other day. <laughs> I know. I, mean, oh, I sent it to you, right? Yeah, that's, that's why. <laughs> Zero women it. watch my channel. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, Let's see what this vlog does for him. I don't think it's gonna make anything better. It's okay, man. Just, just keep putting your content out there. I'll send the link to my mum. Maybe she'll watch it. <laughs> yeah, I think I'll drive back. The chicks were laughing, right? Oh, another they wave. The bike of chicks. <laughs> Probably, yeah. We must have like such douches together. Yeah. Do what you gotta do. Mm-hmm. Look at us driving R6 with the two of us, man. It's not very comfortable. It's first class, man. As you will find out in a moment. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> So that was, that was quick. 
you normally don't think a long time for your bikes, though. No. You brought the you bought the Tuono in a matter of minutes. No, we have ways or not. When you know, you know. Actually, I did put, put a lot of thought in buying a GS, and that was the bike I owned the longest in three years. That's because it didn't get stolen. Not because you didn't like that. That's a good point. Yeah, why, why didn't it get stolen, man? Uh, I know that seems like a strange question, but... Yeah, the theory BMWs don't get stolen got debunked when they took it XR. Yeah, that, that custom paint and all that shit, that didn't yeah. even matter. They didn't steal the exhaust, though. They did not, no. They took the whole bike. <laughs> no, I mean on the GS. They did steal the exhaust, yeah, that's true. Do you know the uh, the Akrafnitz from my R6 with welded shut? Yeah. So they can't steal it. Yeah. Had to grind it off to put the DB door on. So they can take the Vespa, they can take the R6, but not the Tuono. They took an A1 from your garage, so. Yeah, I, I can live with everything else, but I'd be so bummed if they took the Tuono. So so bummed. No, I don't think they will, man. For what for? Does not hold much value. Right? Well, the values here. Yeah. Well, that's what I mean in, in, in monetary terms. Yeah. No, it's not that expensive.